Well, guys, we got the uh, LCG back in the garage. Got some parts on order. Uh, new flat skid plate. We're going to play around with some different shock settings. While we're waiting on parts to come in for that guy, I figured we'd come outside the garage here. Covered in a tarp. Been robbed of every part she owns of the old Remo hobby. We took the shocks off of her, the body off of her, and the motor transmission out. Uh, we took everything off this old girl. She's got a busted front CV axle, so we're going to pull the tarp off, get her back out front here, get her up on some stands, and get her back together. Show her some love. with the tarp pulled off nothing wrong with the transmission or the motor just pulled it out uh, I think I was trying to test fit some parts in the uh, axial wraith while I was waiting on those parts to come in and just use that for mock-up since the Remo was down um, I'm gonna keep it on the Remo hobby ESC just for the simple fact that this isn't gonna be a crawler anymore I'm gonna put her back to a glorified trail truck Hit the trails, a bunch of scale action, a bunch of scale accessories, going through the woods, getting some cool videos, some cool shots, some cool photos, things like that. The Remo did what it needed to do, and we pushed it as far as we could without changing every part on it. And uh, the Remo hobby is well worth the money, guys. Uh, if you're beginning in scale crawling or just RCing in general, for 200 bucks, you cannot go wrong with the Remo Hobby. This old girl has done it all. So we've got the Enjora fenders on there. Uh, we've got the stock ESC, the motor. I'm still running the uh, Remo Hobby. What is this? A 20 turn 550 motor. It works great. Um, still running stock links, stock axles. I did snap a uh, front axle when we were doing some crawling just because we were trying to crawl things that were impossible and that was the weak point, so that broke. So, I'm gonna get some stuff ordered, get this old girl back on the trails and have some fun with it. Several days later. All right, so I got it all back together. Uh, got the servo put back in it. I'm just running the 20 kilogram servo right now. Um, because I'm running the Remo Hobbies uh, controller, there's no sense in running the 7.4 servo that's in the Amazon cage crawler. So I just went back to the 20 kilogram for now. I might upgrade this to a 35 kilogram, even though it's just running on the probably 5 volts or 6 volts, whatever this ESC runs. Uh, it would still be stronger, but this does fine for trailing. Uh, transmission's back in. ESC, I moved it back a little bit just for clearance. Um, I took the housing off the transmission for now, just trying to work some things out. But I do have it where it's rolling again, and she steers. Um, before you guys start putting stuff in the comments, I know my shocks aren't right, okay? But I'll show you why. I mean, the front ones aren't too bad. They're leaning forward a little bit, which they should at least be straight or leaning back, maybe. That's just where the shock mount is, so I don't really have much choice right now. Same thing on the back. They're aiming backwards. I know that's not right. What the hell is even that? Um, but I was trying to accomplish something. Kind of did. If you notice, this wheelbase looks a lot shorter than it did. Well, let me show you why. You guys that have been with the channel for a while will recognize this Jeep body. I've had it for probably two years. I bought an Enjora forward mounted motor chassis and tried to make it work and just couldn't make it work. Didn't like the way it was turning out, so I just sat it to the side. Well, I decided to fix the Remo up, got the body back out, did some modifications. And lo and behold, I got it to fit the Remo. Now she's squatting in the back a little bit. So I got to adjust that because, you know, we're not, we're not doing the Carolina squat like those boys in their pickup trucks. Uh, so I'll definitely be raising the back up a little bit to get it more 
level probably about like that I don't want it monster truck looking but I need to at least be as uh, high as the front and what I did was I had to just butcher the interior I uh, didn't want to but you know what I like I said this body's been sitting for two years and it was just time to make it work so I had to cut a bunch out because that's a center mount motor center mount transmission so I had to clearance a lot yes I lost some of my interior I still have the uh, center console I might be able to put back in there but probably not because of the way that comes up the spur gear and everything don't really care you can't see it from from outside and unless you get up right in the middle, you're not going to be able to tell. So I'm not really worried about it. Uh, I'm going to put the black plastic cover back on the transmission. And that will kind of help make it blend in a little bit. Right now I have my battery in the back. Because there was no way for it to fit up front. Uh, I might try to get a smaller uh, battery pack. This one is a 2S. 35C 1600 maw. It does not last very long, so I'm going to try to get one with a higher maw rating, and then maybe that'll go up front. But I also trimmed out a lot back here. When the body's mounted, I can reach through the back window and change my battery, and when it's sitting down low like that, you can't tell that it's a battery anyway. So it's all coming together. I just reach over and plug it in on the side there couple other things I had from the Remo when it was uh, I had the green the other green plastic Lexan body I had this roof rack I was thinking about putting that on there um, I know this is a removable top so most people probably wouldn't have a roof rack but whatever at this point uh, I'm just making it a scale crawler I want to be able to throw some stuff up there I also have uh, the front bumper that was on the Remo, uh, I really like it. I'll show you what I did with it here in just a minute. I'm using that actually as the way I fasten the body. And I have the rear bumper. And I have this hitch. I have a cargo net, an antenna. And what else? I have the light bar somewhere. There we go. So I have the light bar that goes uh, on that rack. So that's just some other things that we might be able to put on there. So basically what I did, I have the front worked out but not the back. So it fits on there real good, snaps in place. Trying to do this all where it's in frame for you guys. But what I did was made it to where when the body drops down on there, this just locates in the front and then this just slides right in and now my body's on in the front. I need some kind of a quick release on here because I don't want to have to put the two screws in the bottom every time. Because on your bumper... Your bumper has these holes that you slide the bumper in and then you put the screws in. I don't want to have to do that every time. But if I have a small enough battery that I can get in and out the back, or even the big battery that I just plug in back here, I have my uh, ESC lead going to the back, then it doesn't matter if the body comes off and, and you know it stays attached permanently. But I got the front going through there, and then the back for right now, I just have one screw that goes into this plastic piece in the back and that mounts it solid and then I can just tuck my either my little battery in the back or I can get the big one down in there I just have to fish the wires through and get it through and it, it takes some fiddling but it is doable uh, I was thinking about doing some kind of a hinge here on the back to where I can just pull that front bumper out and then it'll hinge up uh, I may still work on that but this is this is already eight hours worth of work. Uh, I was trying to get something together for this weekend because Scott and I uh, and a couple other guys are going out crawling. So it's not perfect, but it will work. 
Uh, I still have the broken front axle, so right now it's just two-wheel drive. Super stubby in the back. Pull this back off. See how nice and easy that is? Super stubby in the back, so I had to uh, go back to a plastic drive shaft. I didn't have one that was short enough. And as far as links on this, if you have a Remo Hobby... Alright, so basically on the Remo, it has these super long ball ends. And here's a standard ball in. Right, so you can see that one's quite a bit shorter. And that's all I did. I went through and I took the long ball ends off and I put the shorter ones on. On the three link up front. And then I centered my front wheel in the wheel arch. And that worked out pretty good just by changing to shorter ball ends. So that's all I did on the front. On the back was a different story. I had to... The upper links I was able to shorten. Uh, I actually had to go to a metal ball end on the front, which is even shorter than this plastic one. And then I went to... Just kept the longer one on the back. Just trying to get that overall length until the pinion was, was at a good angle. And that it was centered in the arch, in the wheel housing. And... Uh, the bottom ones I had to find links. This one you can see is shorter than that one, so I had to add a nut. But uh, just to get the overall length, and I'm still trying to dial that in a little bit. But all in all, it's centered. I just need to play with the shocks. Um, I also need to see if I can make or buy a bracket that I can mount back here to where the shock would be aiming forward. I know that's wrong, but look, it'll work for this weekend. It's got suspension at least. I just need to raise it back up. So, uh, I actually had the front end too stiff because originally I was going to have the battery in the front, which would weigh this down a little more and then it would be okay. But since uh, the battery won't fit up there unless I run a smaller pack, uh, I had to add the battery to the back. So that's just making the back squat even more. So, lots of changes to do, but the Remo is back in action. She's not 100%, but... At least we can get it out there and have some fun. It's been benched for probably a year. That body I've had for... Prob it's. I mean, it's one of the first things I bought when I started the channel. And it just never worked the way I wanted to. I was new into the hobby. Didn't really know what I was doing. So, a lot of things could have went different. But, time to get back to the Remo. I got it upgraded. Got it... Uh, to where she can at least drive and we'll go have some fun this weekend and then we'll make some more changes so thanks for watching guys i'll do a quick little run video with the body on it and then uh we'll be doing a trail video with scott so you might see this enjora jeep on his channel uh as well as you know i'm sure i'll get some footage of us running together so thanks for watching here's a little video of it running